Brothers and sisters, Melon, how you doing? It's Brother Wisdom. Feeling so powerful right now. Charged up. You know, um, let's talk about true power. All right? There's governments out here talking about, you know, we're senators and Republicans and Democrats. Um, they're talking about, you know, <laughs> we're ambassadors. You know, ambassador is just uh, one who links one governmental body or corporate body and that's this is all this corporate body on this planet to another corporate body all right that's all it's ambassador is almost like a like a, a linking banker you know pretty much so um i want to talk to you guys about true power all right you know we gotta we gotta we gotta understand what power is power is energy all right our planet is a sphere all right it's an oblong sphere you know all these people talking about flat earth you know how can you talk about something that you know nothing about you only live on the planet and you're you're going off of what someone else said and what some what what you see on a map all right so when the, our ancestors or either we did in our past lives um, flew around the planet, all right? We flew around the planet. We flew, we flew around the planet and that's how we were able to map, you know? So you, you got your maps, which, you know, we, we created from what you call photographic memory, all right? So um, what happened was that there are certain parts of the planet that has lots of energy. And these Caucasus want you to think that this is ice. No, it wasn't ice, it was energy. So certain levels of energy. So in order for get, to get to one part of this planet to another part of the planet, you've got to go through energy, all right? And I mean, it's, 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 it's plain to see that it's nothing but energy, all right? So, um, as we focused on the planet, we had energy that was that was always surrounding the planet. See, our planet is a sphere, all right? Which means when you're dealing with a sphere, all right, or what they call a globe, there is no beginning and there is no ending. So how can they say, well, the beginning of time, because time is a sphere. So how can they say there's a beginning of time unless they create the beginning and the beginning, the, the time that these Caucasus created is only an illusion because time has no beginning, time has no ending. Just like our planet is, is, is key, which means fire and energy. Fire and energy, energy has no beginning, energy has no ending. It's been around forever, all right? So our sun, our sun is nothing but energy. That's why it flows around the planet, and that's why these Caucasus they 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 it's it's energy, and we'll, and that's why these Caucasus want to cover up the sun. All right, they want to cover up the sun because the sun you got to understand the energy is knowledge. All right, when they say knowledge is energy, knowledge is power. This is is literally saying that knowledge is energy. All right, so this is true power. Power that you don't, you have no power in votes. You have no power in uh, uh, in money. You have no power in things. These things are all temporary. They can be changed and altered. And 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 uh, you could change the shape of them and and change the definition of them. So that if, if you can if you can change them up, then that means that it's not true power. It's only an illusion. All right. So our our sun. Is energy so because our planet is a sphere all right it's a global sphere all right that's why you have an atmosphere an ionosphere a magnosphere a stratosphere they let you know that the planet is a sphere all right so all these these people running around here talking about flat earth flat earth flat earth get the fuck out of here you know if you haven't traveled the planet, if you haven't gone to the astral projection and actually looked on the outside of the planet and look how to see how the planet looks, then you know nothing. You know nothing. You know, you got it. You're going off a third dimensional mind. All right. So we, we're talking about power. All right. So 
So when you you dealing with you dealing with this high levels of energy and high levels of power, all right. So what are we what are we what are we going to be gaining soon? We're going to be gaining another sun, all right. Because now we're going to ev we're going to, we we're we're in the pl process of evolving. Our sun is moving closer, all right. Our sun is 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 is, is getting about is, is when after the process is finished, our sun is going to be ninety miles closer, all right. And these carcasses fear this. And once it's 90 miles closer, then our sun is going to give birth to a new sun. All right. So then we'll have two suns, which means is more knowledge, double the knowledge, double the energy, because energy is knowledge. Knowledge is energy. All right. I need you guys to understand this here. There is no, you know, if, if you got a, if you got a circle, all right, if you got a circle and let's say somebody created this circle one day do you know where the circle began think about it do you know where the circle began if you don't know where the circle began then how can you say when the circle is going to end they said oh yeah the, the world is going to come to an end our planet is a sphere our planet is a sun it's an orb all right which means it's energy you cannot destroy energy. Energy cannot be destroyed. So they talking about Nibiru is going to destroy the, the planet. No, Nibiru is going to destroy the, the earthly faculties that we know today. Money, uh, uh, the illusion of media, the illusion of money, the illusion of everything that's created. These laws, these, these I mean, because, because what's going to happen is once this pole shift happens, once this pole shift uh, uh, occurs, and all of these uh, 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 governments, these corporations, I won't call them governments, I won't give them that much power, because uh, you know, remember government is mind control. All of these corporations fall, all right? Then nature is gonna rule. Only nature is gonna rule the planet. And everything that is out of the body of nature, everything that is out of the the uh, um, the the energy of nature must be destroyed. So for these caucasus to put in the in this in this book called the Bible and say, okay, yeah, we uh, we enslaved uh, the the so-called children of Israel, and then what's going to happen is they're going to enslave us. No, 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 no. See, nature doesn't enslave. Nature creates balance. If nature see that you are no good on the planet, then nature destroys you nature see that you know you're not in balance with the planet the nature destroys you all right you look at the power and the nature of ants and bees they're constantly building all the time they're evolving look at an ant you know an ant will, will sooner or later evolve and will gain wings why because an ant is in a place of solitude an ant is in a place of solitude an ant is always in in a, in a, in a point of meditation you know Deep within itself, so that that ant that ant mound is, is is like that that the, the solar plexus, the solar system, and the ant is constantly building, it's constantly building, constantly building, and this is power. All right, so that ant mound is circular, which means it's a sphere, and then it's a kingdom that's built on the inside of the ant mound. So we have to understand what's really going on, my people. All right, so. We're talking about real power here. We're talking about real power. We're not talking about some uh, 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 created something. We're talking about real power. So the whole point of, of you gaining the power of cosmic knowledge is you gaining the power of energy. You gaining the power of the sun. That's why, like I said, they want to cover up the sun because the sun has given us energy. The sun has given us knowledge. All we have to do is focus on that energetic uh, uh, part of the sun and gain this knowledge, this ancestral ancient knowledge, because the sun is ancient. And the second sun, what it does, like I said, it's going to do is going to bring uh, even more knowledge, even more energy, because even the energy, the energy is knowledge, so it's going to bring even more knowledge. All right. So there is no ending to energy. Our planet is energy. Our planet is a sphere. There is no ending. And because there is no ending, how can you say there is a beginning? How can you say this planet was created 2,000 years ago? You know, no, no, it's, it's, it's not true. The planet wasn't created 2,000 years ago. 
the planet was is is an infinite uh, celestial body that's been around for eons and eons upon eons upon decades upon I mean centuries. I mean there, there's no number. So for these caucasus to get here and you talk about species who's only been in existence for 6,000 years and only been here on the planet for 500 years, how can you make a determination of what is what when you don't even know how you were created from the beginning? So we have to uh, really um, focus on the power that's within us, my people. Focus on your inner power. Focus on your inner energy. Focus on your inner being. This is real power. This is real power. This is the power of, 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 of the, 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 the cosmos, the power of knowledge, the power of strength, the power of, of everything that we know today. This is power. And the way you access this power is to go within yourself, your solar plexus, your, your pineal gland is a sphere. All right. Your, 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 your brain is a sphere. Your head is the shape of a sphere. Your solar plexus is the shape of a sphere. Your blood cells are the shape of, of, of spheres. They're circle, which means your blood cells contain energy. All right? Energy cannot be destroyed. Knowledge is energy. The cosmos is a, is a, is a sphere that, that continually grows and continually uh, 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 moves and, uh, and, and, and expands. Universes are being formed right now as we speak because energy is always evolving to a higher form of self, a higher form of knowledge, a higher form of truth, a higher form of, 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 of power. This is true power. So to go within yourself and to pull in the energy of the sun, the, the moon is a sphere. The moon is a sphere, which means that the moon gives off infinite energy all right anything that's a sphere and there is no ending and there's no beginning you can't explain something that you have no knowledge of this is why you must have constant uh, 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 seek uh, have constant knowledge of the cosmos because the cosmos that's up there is the same as the cosmos down here all right so you must gain the the power and knowledge of the cosmos once you gain the power and the knowledge of the cosmos then you have infinite understanding these laws are not power because they have to be written on paper. And what is paper? It's a square. It's a box. And if it's got to be put inside of a box, then guess what? It's an illusion. It's not real. If it's got to be put inside of a box, then it wasn't designed to last forever. It was designed to be destroyed. Anytime you put something in a box, it has to be, it's going to be destroyed. Because a box, all right, a box only can contain what you put in it. Energy can contain far greater power than what a box could ever contain. All right. So uh, I, I just we just wanted to talk about power. Just wanted to talk about power, true power. Go within yourself. Go within that energy within yourself. Know who you are. Pulling the energy of, 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 of self, the energy of life, the energy of, 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 of energy. You know, everything, everything around you is energy. Look at a tree. When it grows up, as that tree grows up, it's a circle, right? Which means because it's a circle, it can expand. It can expand. If a tree was a square, it wouldn't be able to expand. Look at a house. A house is a square. And the only way to expand it is you have to build upon it. But a tree is a circle, which means that it's a part of the nature of life. And it has that that circle has no beginning. All right. Has no beginning. Because you don't know when that energy began to create that tree. So how can you tell how old a tree is? Because a tree contains energy and inside that energy is knowledge. And inside that knowledge is power. All right, my people. So true knowledge of, of, of self is the knowledge of the cosmos. And the knowledge of the cosmos is the knowledge of power. 
these governmental bodies, they do not have power. This is implied power. This is fake power. They have to force you. That's why they have law enforcement. They come on our planet and tell our people what they want us to do. Focus on the cosmos. Law enforcement, something that was written on a box that has no power whatsoever. All power to the people of Miller. <laughs>